and Bitcoin attempted to start a relief rally this week, but met with intense selling pressure near $67,000. The largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization is on track to end the week with a minor loss of about 2% uh, so far. And we see everyone in the speaker. Uh, what uh, most of our countries can do is popular trader and analyst uh, capital, rec capital, uh, believes that uh, in the near term is the net outflows from the spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. Far side investors reported that the ETFs witnessed a net outflow of $218 million on April 25 after a $120 million outflow the previous day. Net uh, when uh, the price uh, trades in a large range, it is difficult uh, to predict the direction of the breakout with certainty. Uh, traders could buy it uh, near the support and set the resistance by keeping a suitable stop loss or stay on the sidelines uh, until a, a breakout happens. Uh, will Bitcoin and altcoin stay above their respective support levels and start a relief rally? Let's study the top five cryptocurrencies that look strong on the charts and may start the recovery. Uh, Bitcoin's been range bound between $59,600 and $73,777 for several days, indicating indecision between the bulls and the bears about the next directional move. Uh, generally, uh, in a range, uh, traders buy near the support and, and sell close to the resistance. The bulls are expected uh, to aggressively defend the $59,600 level as a break below it could beepen the correction to 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of $54,298. Such a move will delay the start of the next leg of the uptrend. And contrarily, if the price turns up from the current level or the $59,600 support, it will suggest that bulls remain active at lower levels. The BTC USDT pair may jump to $67,250 and later to the overhead resistance of $73,777. A break in close above this level will signal the start of the next leg of the uptrend, $84,000. Uh, the flattish moving averages in the RSI just below the midpoint uh, is, is suggest the balance between supply and demand. Uh, the first sign of strength will be a break and close above the downtrend line. That could clear the path for a rise to $68,000 and then to $71,500. And alternatively, if the price turns down from the current level of the downtrend line, and breaks below $62,300, uh, it will suggest that the bears are in command. Uh, the pair cost of its market, broader them continued, uh, by crystal. So it's all eventually that far more than that. Uh, we still have the work. Uh, near protocol closed above the descending channel pattern on April 25th, indicating uh, that the downtrend could be ending. Uh, however, the bears have not given up and are selling you the immediate resistance at $7.70. If the price dips back into the channel, it will suggest that the breakout may have been a bull trap. That could pull the price down to $5.90. Um, instead, if the price breaks above $7.70, it will suggest that the bulls are taking charge. A near USD cheap pair could then attempt a rally to $9.00 where the bears are likely to mount a strong defense. Uh, both moving averages are sloping up, uh, and the RSI is in the positive territory, indicating that the bulls have a slight advantage. Uh, buyers are likely to face selling in buyer and bong. Uh, the, the zone between $7.70 and $8.10. But if they bulldoze their way through, the rally could reach $9. This optimistic view will be negated in the short term if the price turns down and breaks below 660. Such a move will indicate that the bears continue uh, to profit, purchase, sell on relief rallies.
The pair may then slant to five ninety dollars seventeen. And are we rose above both moving averages on April twenty fifth, signaling that the bulls are attempting to come back? Uh, and uh, the bears tried to pull the price back, but the bulls purchased the dip to the twenty day EMA on April twenty seventh. Um, this suggests that a change in sentiment from selling on rallies to buying on dips. There's a minor resistance at forty dollars, but if it is crossed. The ARUSDT pair could rally to the stiff overhead resistance of $47.52. If bears want to prevent the rally, they will have to quickly tumble the price back below the 20-day EMA. If they do that, the pair may tumble to $22. The pair shows the formation of an inverse head and shoulders pattern that will complete on a breakout and close above the neckline. If that happens, the pair is likely to dash toward the pattern target of $50. This uh, on the contrary, if the price fails to maintain above the neckline, uh, it will suggest that demand dries up at higher levels. Uh, the pair could then drop to the development critical support at 30. Uh, a break below this level will uh, tilt the advantage in favor uh, of the bears. Uh, Core has taken support uh, at the 20-day uh, EMA on two agent, uh, 223 on two occasions in the past few days uh, indicating uh, a positive uh, sentiment. Uh, if the price bounces off the current level and breaks above $2.91, it will suggest that the bulls are back in the driver's seat. The Core USDT pair could then pick up momentum and surge toward $4. And contrary to this assumption, if the price turns down and breaks below the 20-day EMA, it will suggest that the bears are not willing to give up, and that can open the doors for a drop to the 50-day SMA. And the four-hour chart shows that the pair is range-bound between $1.83 and $2.91. The flattening moving averages and the RSI near the midpoint do not give a clear advantage either to the bulls or the bears. Um, if the price breaks, above the moving averages, uh, the bulls will try to push that pair uh, to $2.91. Uh, the bears are expected to defend this level with vigor um, because a break above it may start a new up move. And conversely, if the price turns down and breaks below $2.10, the pair may tumble to the strong support at $1.83. And Bank climbed above the moving averages on April 23rd, signaling that the corrective phase may be ending. Uh, the bears tried to yank the price uh, below the moving averages, but the bulls held their ground. Uh, this suggests that the bulls are trying to flip the moving averages into support. If the price bounces off the current level and breaks above $0.00030, the Bonk USDT pair will complete an inverse H and S pattern. This bullish setup has a pattern target of zero point zero 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 four eight dollars. Uh, however, the bears are likely to have other plans. They will um, try to sink the price uh, below the moving averages and gain the upper hand. If they succeed, the American pair may ascend to zero point zero 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 zero. Dollar seven fifteen gain table screens and then to zero point zero zero minus one fifteen. Um, the four hour chart shows that the bulls are facing stiff resistance at a thirty third pence. Um, the bears are trying to strengthen their position by pulling the price um, below the moving averages. Um, if they manage to do that, uh, the pair will complete a uh, HNS pattern and drop towards zero point zero 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 nineteen dollars. Um, on the other hand, if the price turns up from the current level or the 50-day SNA, it will indicate that the bulls continue to buy on dips. A 45 times inflation is breaking close above $1,735 will be the first sign of strength. The pair may then jump to $16,036.